we stood on a mound of dirt right over there where that trailer is and had a groundbreaking ceremony 10 months ago. And in 10 short months, we were able to add an art room and two science rooms up above. And the students' favorite thing up there, what's upstairs? The bathrooms. The bathrooms, brand new bathrooms. So excited for all of these pieces. We have new um, art, and in the front here is a project room. We've got new foyer floor, and we've created space. Some people ask me, Dr. Chamberlain, why did you choose, or why did they decide to add science and art in this space? And the reason is, is it freed up other classroom space so that we would be able to grow into the future. So we'd be able to have three rounds of classrooms at each grade level. Right now we have two, but as we look at growth around us and the ability to add students, we were um, looking towards the future and future growth. Some speakers, and then we have some special students that were selected to help cut the ribbon. So we have Hans, Hans Haberkorn, where are you Hans out there? Hans is our Director of Facilities and Maintenance. Let's give him a huge shout out. He and his assistant Kurt did so much behind the scenes on this project. I was getting updates. They were constantly um, navigating, working through problems. Then we have our local staff, our custodial crew. Where is uh, Scott Anderson, Mary Ordebees, and Meg Price? Uh, where is Shelly Peters, our art teacher, right here? Amanda Stoltz and Kathy McLean. You're going to see their new science rooms. And a huge shout out to all the FE staff for being flexible with moving, packing, unpacking, leaking, loss of space, <laughs> pillars showing up out of nowhere, disruption, mess, and missing stuff when you move back in. We understand it's a disruption, but they went with it and they knew that it was all for the students. We have a former superintendent that was part of the bond uh, project that was able to get this bond project passed by the voters. Frank Green's back there in the big blue. Former superintendent. First student in the state of Colorado. We had $80 million that you guys voted to pass so that we could improve our schools. And we are, um, through this part of the project, we're hoping that there's some money left over for some other upgrades as part of Fraser Valley Elementary coming. Um, to talk a little bit about that process, we have our current superintendent, Brad Ray. Brad has been involved as the executive committee member. He's been behind the scenes working tirelessly to make sure that this project came in on time and under budget. Superintendent Brad Ray. A collaborative nature to solve problems and not admire them is what gets represented in here every day. And that's what our staff does. That's what our learning communities do. And I'm extremely honored to be a, a part of the uh, opportunities that are about to come. So thank you all. Ralph the Builder. <laughs> Ralph the Builder, yes we can! <laughs> what you don't know is that Ralph went through a lot of setbacks with this project, and for it to come off in 10 months was truly a summer wonder and a miracle. We appreciate all of the hard work that you and your team put into making this happen so that our students had an amazing place to start the school year. So a huge shout out to Ralph and J.H.L. for this new learning space. And so we're excited to share it with you. We have two students that were selected by the teachers to be part of this ribbon cutting. First is uh, Parker Kramer. Come on up, Parker. Yay! For those of you who know, Parker is a fifth grader here, and his house is right there. And all summer, he would ride his bike by here, and he would see the progress, and he would report to his teacher about how it was going. So he was selected as kind of the on the grounds, making sure that Ralph was doing his job. Hoover, who is a fourth grader, Vivian. Vivian, as a fourth grader, has expressed an interest to her teachers that she's interested in architecture. And one of the things that was cool about this project was involving the students in some of the design process and having some of those meetings. Some of the renderings that you'll see in there um, are part of the feedback that the architects got from the students about what they wanted to see the space look like. So these two students were selected to um, help cut the ribbon today. This